Hi guys, so today we just got back from Walmart actually to pick up some brake fluid right over here and a turkey baster. We needed to change the brake fluid in the Mazda Miata. So number one, obviously open the hood and then you need to locate where the brake fluid is and in our situation it's just right over here. And what's really nice is most of on top, it'll tell you what brake fluid to get. And on here it says use only dot three fluid. So because of that, we bought our dot three fluid. So right now we're just going to get that changed. And it's a pretty simple process. But because the brake fluid, um, it can eat up the paint. So you kind of just want to be careful around the car. And then it's always a good idea to wipe this clean. Ours is pretty clean, but you just don't want any debris to fall in there. So I already did that. I'm going to take this off. That's not a big deal. Okay. Sit on the towel. Hmm? It's fine. Okay. Hand right off. No, put it on the towel. No. On the towel. Oh yeah, so we have this stuff. Okay, okay. Step one: this you can just get at Walmart. It's pretty cheap, and obviously I don't need this big of a container, but it's the only one we have. It's convenient, so you just go ahead and start sucking it up, and be very careful. I don't want to. And what's going to happen is most, you can keep the turkey baster probably a few times, but it's probably going to eat up the plastic right here anyways. So, and these aren't too expensive though, so that's cheap. Okay guys, as you can see, we are now done taking out most of the brake fluid. Um, you do want to leave a little bit in there, otherwise, because otherwise it will cause problems. So, we are now done. Oops. And now I'm going to take the brick fluid and like I said, ours takes a dot three. This car takes a dot three. Oh, no, it's okay. And I'm going to fill it up. I can see the max line is right there, so I'm going to just start filling it up, but making it a little below that. Okay. See, look at how clear that is. Much cleaner than it was before. Okay, that's really how you um, change the brake fluid. However, if you want to be more thorough, you actually can um, change all the purge all of the brake lines. Um, but today we don't really want to do much more. The main reason is because um, the cylinder. This is where basically all of the brake fluid is anyways. So the ones in the brake lines, it was just a very negligible amount. So you don't really need to change that. And now we're just gonna put the top back on and that's how you change the brake fluid inside of a car.